this number one featherweight contender is no stranger to this setting. Tonight, though, he believes he's just a much better version of himself and finally has the goods and the chops to actually be a world champion. Sometimes you get there, John, and you're just not ready. It's not easy to become the best in the world. The first time this man got here, he was a great fighter. He was good, but he just wasn't ready to be the best in the world. He said that the moment he got back home, he went to work to improve. He feels like all the improvements were made, and tonight he is the best featherweight the UFC has. And it does seem as though we have taken two-way action on this fight, but a lot of people believe in the challenger. Not just talking about his coaches. We'll see how it goes tonight. in professional sports, the magnitude of the UFC title fight, and tonight all eyes are on the undisputed UFC featherweight champion, looking to add another major scout to a resume that is full of big names already. Yeah, he's got a lot of big names on his resume already, but this guy doesn't seem to be slowing down at all. He seems so motivated to continue to build on his legacy. He's a, he's a great champion. He's a guy that lives for that championship belt and has all the skills to hold on to that title for a really long time. When you look at this top 15 on paper, it is just a wealth of talent. And yet, this is the guy they are all chasing, and he has no intention of relinquishing the throne tonight. Tale of the tape for this featherweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexander the Great Bogomolsky. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Featherweight champion of the world, Cross! Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. Many of you remember his title defense not all that long ago. He won it by knockout. And most of the guys, the number one contender types who have risen. Oh! He's hurt so bad. He's got to find safety. Find a way that you can recover. Oh. Oh. That was a jab. These boys are going at it. Oh, block that kick to the body. Nicely done. Oh, nice right hand by the champ. Yeah. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. All right, so there it is from the kickboxer. He told us he was going to go to that front kick early, and he did not miss with that one. He didn't miss. He went to the front kick, expecting to keep going here. Because this is not only damaging, but it keeps him at the range at which that he wants to fight. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Nice job blocking that shot. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth, 
This is a full-on blood. It's, it's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. You got to pay attention now before it gets worse. High amplitude elbow here. It's good. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Krebs. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Oh, big hook. That'll leave a mark. Nice job by him defensively there. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. I mean, that eye is disgusting. His eye is done. He's been beat up. He got cut early in the fight, and he's just been targeted in that area. He has not made any, any changes to his defense, so he's continuing down this path. The doctor's going to take a look. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the time is now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Well, this UFC fight is sort of dissolving into a horror movie. I don't need to see any more damage inflicted. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight. Absolutely. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here he is, the UFC champion, and this guy is all the rage. Right now, he might be the front runner for the fighter of the year, given the fact that he was able to knock out the number one contender in his last title defense, and to do so so emphatically in a fight that a lot of people thought was close on paper is really something that could take his career to the next level. Trying to follow that up here tonight. Most guys have succumbed to his power. We'll see if that holds true yet again tonight. Oh, spinning heel kick connects. Impressive. Beautifully timed and placed front kick there by the kickboxer, and that's going to allow him, I would think, to really maintain this range against the overall more well-rounded fight. I mean, yeah, he's in there with a guy that would seem to have more ways to win the fight, but if he stays at range here, kicking range, he's the best at that. So he needs to continue on this path. Continue to throw those kicks straight at him and dart at him, poke at him to keep him at space so that he can fight his fight. He turned his entire body into that uppercut and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Oh! Oh, good left hand! Back to his feet. Oh, nice jab. No feeling out process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it all. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. And Hicks is in a takedown. Why not? Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, there absolutely. Well, at this point, I would use the word critical to describe the condition of that eye. Not looking good, champ. No, he's beat up. He's been battered. He's been bruised. He got cut early in the fight, and you... Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. See, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what... Oh, grabs or wrestles. He's, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was when his first test in elementary school. Oh, uppercut. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That eye is absolutely mangled. I wouldn't be surprised to see us get a stoppage here soon. Yeah, I mean, John, you look at his face. He's been beaten up for a very long time. I could see the doctor coming into the ring, looking at the cut and saying, I've seen enough. Nice block. Punch went nowhere. Oh, 
nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a confident fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. Nice positional control here. Beautiful transition. Kraus gets back up again. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. If he lands it like that, with no weight on that leg, it won't take many. It's a bloody mess right now. I wouldn't be surprised to see this fight stop. At the very least, you gotta think they're calling in the ringside position between rounds. All right, so the ref has called a break to the action, and it likely means, yes, he will call in the doctor to look at that cut, which is just leaking all over the octagon right now. A lot of blood, John, but this is a fight. I mean, guys bleed, girls bleed. <laughs> it happens in a fight. These guys should be able to continue. Yeah, that's gonna yeah, he do stops it. it. No surprise there. The ringside position has called an end to the fight. You got to preserve the fighter to fight in the future. And uh... you ready to fight? Ready. All right, so here he is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion out of the red corner. And if you remember his title defense not all that long ago, he won it by knockout. And most of the guys, the number one contender, you don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh, my goodness. Big left hand lands upstairs. Nice team kick there from the kickboxer, and that is going to give the opposition something to think about. I've never eaten one of those, but it doesn't seem to. No, it sucks. It uh, sucks to get hit with that front kick up the middle. And that is going to allow for him to stay at range. It also deters takedown attempts, because you know that if you change levels into one of those, you are going to sleep. Wow, strong roundhouse kick there. opponents compromise DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Back to the feet. Big hook. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk. <laughs> It's getting really hard to watch him absorb shots on that eye. I wonder if the referee's thinking about calling him the doctor now. Well, well, John, the entirety of the fight, that has been the target of his opponent. He has not adjusted defensively, and now he's paying for it. Now, somebody's going to have to save him. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved out with this. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as the crowd gets excited, there's also a little bit of that. Uh, I don't want to see any more going on in their reactions. Oh, oh how about that? Lands a huge strike and then just starts rubbing it in. He's feeling so good and loose that he's able to land and then show you and showboat on you a little bit. It's great. Oh, another one. Back to the feet now. Loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 35 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC featherweight.
champion of the world, Rawls! Well, he wasn't much for words during fight week. He just kept saying, and still, and that's exactly how it goes down tonight. Congratulations to the UFC featherweight champion of the world. Starting to close that gap on the all-time greats, too, with this result tonight. He is one of the greatest featherweight champions we have ever seen. He carries himself with a demeanor that says that you will not take this belt.